what it's like to start working at Ollie's. Uh, my friend here, Falcon, what made you want to start working at Ollie's? Like, what? why did you put in a resume to begin with? I kind of ran out of places to work. and Why did you run out I, of places to work? Because I left Walmart, like, way too many times, and I wanted something that was like Walmart, but, and sort of like Goodwill, and sort of like, like a, it's like a combination of both. So and I, I needed something like, like those places, but not like those places. So yeah. So what, would, what role were you hoping to get there too? I didn't really care position. what role. I was kind of, okay. kind of desperate. <laughs> I kind of really needed a job. <laughs> I, like anything, I didn't care what, how much I made as long as I made something. So <laughs> because I, I didn't have a job for like two months. So when when you were interviewing there, did you kind of tell them that all that? Basically, I was like, dude, I haven't had like a job in two months. I need I need a job. And the lady there was like, okay, uh, where, where's the places you worked? And I'm like, Walmart. <laughs> And then they're like, oh, Walmart's our enemy. You're hired. <laughs> <laughs> so was the interview over the phone or in person? It was in per Well, first, I uh, I went in there, asked this old lady. I was like, yo, are you hiring? She's like, no. And she, she used to work at Walmart, too. And she went on a long rant about Walmart and never told me, like, exactly if they were ever going to hire or not. And then I went to this other guy. He, like completely turned around and didn't say anything like he was like mute but he, he could talk because later on i worked with him and he, he he smarted off all the time but you asked a few employees there if they were hiring before you put in a resume or an application yeah i i went in there and asked their hiring and, <laughs> and they you just asked random people <laughs> working there just, just random people working there. They looked so depressed. They looked all dead inside. <laughs> like, there was no soul behind those eyes. Most of them. Did that scare you at all about working there? Or were you just so desperate you didn't I care? I was so desperate. <laughs> they, had, they had cool stuff. They had, like, cool Power Ranger toys and stuff in their aisles. Like, in the in the aisles. And I was like, okay, yeah, I need... You know, there's some cool stuff there. And I figured if I get, like, a 10% off or something, that would be cool. <laughs> I guess kind of walk us through, you kind of gave us part of the interview. Basically, you know, you said you were working previously at Walmart, didn't like them. So they hired you for that reason. But so I, was there um, any other questions you remember? So basically, I, I called the, the store again after giving up a, a while. I was going to work at White Castle and they, they told me to fuck off, basically. <laughs> I remember that. So I I basically just called there and she said, yeah, we can do an interview. And I went in there and this bitch was like really pregnant, had a bunch of kids in the office. And then they all like, like I, I knocked, I knocked on the door and I'm like, I hear all these kids like running around and stuff. Yeah. So it's like, she's basically raising her family in this office or something. I waited forever for them to like, let me in there because you know, she's raising a whole family in there, you know? Yep. This really big guy, we'll call him Dingus, because I don't, at this point I already forgot his name. <laughs> okay, Dingus, what did he do? He did a lot of things that was annoying, but he was, at first I thought, oh, this guy's pretty cool, he, he's all excited for me to work there, but the whole time he was just a dickhead to me. Um, but yeah, I was, so, I was so desperate to work there, and I worked there almost a year. It wasn't that fun. What, yeah. what was your initial uh, job uh, position after the interview? So originally I was supposed to be, they didn't actually give me one. They just said sales associate, which <laughs> what the fuck does sales associate actually mean? What do you think sales associate wow. means? I think in retail it means anything and everything. <laughs> I would like to see like the comments down below. Like what does yeah. a, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what does retail is associate mean or whatever? You know, like, I don't even know what the, the like, yeah. title I actually had, but I basically did everything and anything. So, like, what were your what were your duties in, the, like, the beginning? Like, stocking shelves, cashier? Basically, like, my first day was yeah. easy as hell. It was just unloading a truck and stickering the hell out of shit. 
putting they, stick, price stickers on everything. Didn't you have to do that at like three in the morning? Well, the first day was, I think it was seven. I was like iffy on coming at, in at seven because seven is pretty early. I need to get some shut eye, you know. It's like I need some sleep. I need my beauty sleep. Falcon is a pretty birdie. What time are you normally out at night back then? Oh, dude, I was, like, getting drunk. I was getting hammered every single night. And then all of a sudden, I started working there, and it's like I had to become, like, a responsible adult. And the coworkers I had were all doing that drinking and all that stuff, too. <laughs> well, I mean, what? But, but that, like, actually, like, straightened me out. Like, I, I stopped it for a while, you know? Yeah, I just want to make a quick comment because you, <clears throat> you showed me some photos of your coworkers. And they look like they did more than alcohol. All I'm going to say. <laughs> <laughs> well, none of them had teeth, I'll tell you that. <laughs> they all had a... Well, maybe a couple of them had a couple of teeth, but all combined... Like, say there's like 14 workers there all together. Yeah. And there's probably about seven teeth <laughs> all together. <laughs> So, <laughs> so you didn't really I mean, fit I in with that my... crowd. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you didn't really fit in with that crowd. No. You, you like drugs, but it. not those kind of drugs, basically. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got done uh, with your interview. So I guess you were kind of explaining, like, you were waiting outside. I wasn't outside. You could, like, I wasn't or, I mean, like just, just outside the there. Yeah, just oh, outside her office. Outside of the off- office door, yeah. Yeah, waiting because you could hear the kids running around, and then Dingus came over here and said something to you. He's like, oh, hi, I, I'm excited for you to work here. And I thought this guy was chipper. I thought he was the coolest guy there. I thought he was going to be, like, my new best friend. I thought he was, like, the happiest guy. That was only the first day. The rest of the days I worked with him, the most depressed idiot I've ever seen. <laughs> And by idiot, I mean actually an idiot. We get sent on a project together to like put up a shelf or something. And he would walk all around the store in circles. And I'd be like, okay, where are we going now? Like, what do we got to do now? Just and looking for like things to put up the shelf. And so, then our boss came and yelled at us. And it was just like horrible. And he was just a di- total dickhead the whole time. He told me to go do one thing. He acted like he was my boss and he wasn't. One of those kind of people. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we, we like need like pegs or screws or something to do whatever. And he'd be like, all right, go in the back and find these things. And I wouldn't have like any idea where these things were because one, I just showed up. And two, he's a fucking dingus with explaining things. <laughs> so it's kind of half-assed. Mm-hmm. And he didn't like that. And I was getting more attention. His boss, or our boss was his aunt. He didn't like all the attention I was getting because it was like, he felt like I was replacing him or something. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's go back to your interview. Once mm. she finally, would we call her a manager or supervisor or boss or what, what do we want to call who you interviewed with? She finally opened up the door and started the interview. The kids were still like running around while you uh, guys were talking. Pretty well. They kind of ran out the door, and eventually I got to say say what I wanted to do there. Which I just said I, I'll do anything. Basically, I, just h- hire me. I need a job fast, like basically. And uh, so I filled out the paper. What what I need to do? Uh, I didn't really have like you know like where it says contacts. Like I didn't really have like anybody to like represent me at the time because I had a bad rep at pretty much everywhere. So. I just kind of made up things. I just put my friend's phone numbers. And... <laughs> Wait, so for <laughs> references, you just made them up? Like, yeah, like Billy, I put his number. <laughs> well, and Billy, he never has minutes on his phone anyway, so, I mean, might as well. And then I put, like, Rogan from Walmart. Hey, there's someone you worked with. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he'd have to explain he got fired recently, but... <laughs> Yeah, Rogan, <laughs> Rogan got fired from Walmart too for oh. not showing up. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, this is a Walmart video. So, I'll, I'll go back to the all these. So yeah, the interview was pretty. Like she had you write down references. Anything else? Um, emergency info. Basically, I, after that, I was hired. 
my email. Yeah, I was gonna say that kind of yeah, at that point you're hired. Yeah, emergency yeah. info. And then she's like, "Can you start at seven? And I was like, "Uh, it's kind of early. <laughs> Can we do nine? <laughs> and she's like, "I really want you here at seven. And then it just kept getting earlier and earlier and earlier every time I had to come in to eventually be like two in the morning, three in the morning. Keep in mind, I don't drive, and she's like, oh, I can pick you up. Tell the audience what you would do when you would get there at two or three in the morning. Well, I'd be the first, well, it'd be me and my boss, that's about it. I'd be the first one there. Keep in mind, she's angry, she's pregnant, she's sleepy, she's tired, she's bitchy, she's yelling at everybody. And every- by everybody, there's nobody there, it's just me. Then, then, like, an hour later, a couple more people show up. She's yelling at them, telling them to hurry the fuck up. They're, she's throwing shit. She's yelling. She's telling us to throw up the line to, to get the truck unloaded. And it, keep in mind, it, it's cold outside. I'm, I'm shivering. I feel like my whole body's giving out. And then she's like, you're going to throw the truck. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I have to throw everything. <laughs> this is a huge truck. I just got there. It's two in the morning. I'm. I feel like crying. I feel like giving up. <laughs> I wanted to kill myself. And this is like a week into the job. Yeah. So <laughs> this was like a couple weeks into the job, and then it just got. It just kept getting earlier and earlier. And then it, it, it sucks whenever like, like it hit springtime. Time change. It was it felt like an hour earlier. Like if I was to get up at two something to get ready and have to be there at three it felt like i was getting up at one something to get up at two and my bedtime schedule was horrible and i was just drinking energy drink after energy drink tell the people watching what your favorite uh, energy drink was c4 the (laughs) the starburst strawberry flavor that was like (laughs) that was the only thing keeping me going that like there was nothing Nothing else keeping me going in life but that drink. Keep in mind, I, I just got over a breakup on when I first started working there. Actually, two breakups in a way. <laughs> which which we, we talked about in the, the Woman of Walmart video. Go and watch that yeah. to hear that whole story or how those women, those relationships went. Okay, that was the interview. It seems like it was pretty short, pretty easy. They sounded pretty desperate to hire someone as well, right? Oh, yeah, they were, like, someone just left without, like, even saying anything. They just left. And uh, Is there a way of quitting? It's like right when he quit, I called and then joined, basically. <laughs> and then that same guy, whenever I was leaving, leaving all these, he joined. I left. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So I saw him for, like, two days or something. Like, I met him for, like, oh, maybe a week. I don't know. It wasn't long. And then I left. It was uh, it was an experience, but yeah, actually working there, it was hell because I would go town to town on weekends, weekends that my friends were off doing whatever because they're rich, they're rich didn't, and can do what they want. Didn't you ask for Saturdays off? Yeah, I asked, but I didn't get set days off. It was just like what it also sucked too was like the nights I'd have to get up really early. I'd be like I work maybe four hours and then go back home, and then my friends would be at work. And I would be at home and I'd be like, well, what, what do I do now? Like, <laughs> so because I, I, some, some weeks I'd be like, it'd be only like a few hours a week. And then the next week it would be like a ton of hours. It, it didn't make too much sense. Okay. Just whenever they needed me. Okay. So back, back to getting started at all these people, yeah. you know, they'll ask about the pay. You don't have to give me the exact dollar, but. If they were to start working at all these, what would you say? What what should they expect for for like hourly pay, number of hours? I think I was getting paid eleven an hour, oh, which I is didn't? dog, is dog shit. And the job I'm currently at, which I won't say where, I'm making twelve. Oh, so but yeah, dollar eight. So approximately at all these, though, that was like the second half of 2023. The last eight no, months or like, ten months like or something. The first half. Of, first half of twenty twenty three. And all the way up until like October. Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. In twenty twenty three they're paying people eleven dollars an hour. Oh well, yeah. Holy it's, cow, it's, dude. Big money around here. <laughs> you just say that's big money around here? Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Oh my Big god. Big pim pim P I N P. <laughs> wow. But yeah, I mean, well, not really big money, but it was big money to the garbage crew because we were eating Taco Bell like 24 <laughs> 7. Wouldn't you get Taco Bell a lot when you worked there because it was right Taco, by one? Taco Bell was like right across from all these. I either ate there or at rallies. They were right across from there. I just walked right across the parking lot and there they were. So, so I ate there constantly every single day. And I almost worked at Taco Bell, but then I saw how crappy it was. If someone starts working there, what? how many hours a week should they expect? If they Do they like take applications full-time, part-time, or is it just everyone's full-time? Or Most of the time, I started off as part-time, I think, because it, they forced me to in a way. And then I quickly went to full-time, but their full-time is basically part-time. How many hours any a week? Sense. It was mixed up every week. So one week I'd be working about 30 something hours a week, not even a full 40. Yeah. And then one week they would just keep cutting. To cut, they kept cutting the hours one week, I remember, where I know they would get their trucks on Monday and they, if they didn't get the truck, they would send us home. And one night, or multiple nights actually, multiple Mondays in a row, the truck didn't come. We were up at like two in the morning. Everybody's pissed off. They wanted to get go to sleep. And then it would be the next day, Tuesday. Everybody was half asleep. Our sleep schedules were so screwed up because one one we would come in like eight, nine o'clock pretty much every other day other than Monday. And then it got to where it was like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, getting up at two, three in the morning. So our sleep schedules just wasn't right. Yeah. So eventually it got to where I just did not sleep. I didn't care anymore. I had my eyes wide open then like i was cashiering at the same time so after doing the truck getting sweaty and just to- downright disgusting because everything's covered in filth all those boxes are covered in filth and sticky stuff laundry detergent whatever i come out with my hair all a mess and looking like a laundry detergent bottle just nutted all over me you know okay and they're like all right open the doors hurry 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 oh shit turn off the alarm because that's going off now. And then you'd hear the alarm go, I'd be like half asleep. So I turn off the alarm and I open the doors. First thing every morning, maybe a pissed off old lady wanting to do a return. And it'd usually be the same old lady. Why would she return return shit? She'd break the shit and just return it. I don't know. This doesn't work. I need a return. So it was like the same. Were you allowed to take broken stuff back? Yeah. Yeah. As long as they had a receipt of like, a week or whatever they could always return stuff okay so i'm covered in nasty filth just shut off the alarm half asleep unlock the door have this old lady bitching at me and then this other like there's always some retired guy just wanting to buy coffee or whatever because we sold a bunch of coffees different things you know yeah it's a gro- it's basically a grocery store but all the foods like expired almost like a almost like a big lot yeah so they're way. trying to get rid of it yep they're just trying to get rid of it. Like, we had Rudolph cereal in the summertime. I mean, that doesn't really make sense. <laughs> but I guess people buy because it it's cheap, right? And then people trying to, like, change prices on stuff because they would just take that sticker and they put it on something else. It was it was chaotic. So And it, I would have to count not only my money in the drawer, but I have to count other people's money because eventually I upgraded the CSA, Ooh. which is customer service. So they wanted me on the cash register all the time, which is only like a dollar more. So eventually I made twelve there. Yeah, now you're yeah. now you're pimping. Good now that work. I remember, now that I remember, yeah, I made twelve. Yeah, it's just, it's just a bunch of old people all the time, for the majority. I mean, it, that's how it was at Walmart. It's how it was at Goodwill. It's how it was everywhere. Yeah, because I just live in a town full of old people and foreigners. That don't speak English, which, yeah, I'm not gonna get too much into that because that's gonna sound bad. But yeah, oh, I'm a I'm a hot mess. They want me on the truck, but they also want me to cash here. But I'm the only cash here, and uh, sometimes I'd be the only guy on the truck. Maybe there'd be one or two other people. And then they bitch at me because they were on the truck while I was in the air conditioning on, on the register. But then there'd be people bitching at me. So I have people bitching at me left and right, and a lot of time I'd either get to work with a manager or on the bus so if i got there at eight or nine i'd be on the bus 
or if it was before then I'd I would have a manager take me there because one I don't drive and yeah. Mm -hmm. So every day was just chaotic. I was running on no sleep. I would have row after row of people on the register, but they would also want me to stock at the same time. It's a smaller store where you can see your register from far away. Every time I go to even put up a box, I would see somebody trying to check out and then they'd be like, Why didn't you put all this stuff up? We were on the we're on the truck slaving away. Why didn't you put all this crap up? So yeah, it was all fucked up. <laughs> and with every single customer, if they don't have a rewards card, you have to sign them up for a rewards card. So you have to have a spiel about this rewards card every fucking and, time. And yeah, that's we, what we kind of got into up. that in the in the first video we did about all these, so people can watch yeah. that because you so explained it. So watch the first one so I can yep. a explain that better, but. That's what I ended up quitting over was the rewards card. Quick uh, comparison question. Comparing it to Walmart, you know, you, you explained in your little rant there that you had to deal with a lot of bitching. People in the back, customers up front. Would would you say you you dealt with more people bitching at Walmart or at Ollie's on a daily basis on average? Ollie's by a lot. <laughs> it, was, it was worse. And people so, are trying to decide on, hmm, should I work at Walmart? Or should I work at all? <laughs> I would say work at neither. <laughs> but so, Walmart is the better one. So okay, it's one they pay more. For I, I'm gonna two, a less bitchy. I'm gonna say something here for the new people and tell me if you agree. So if you're thinking about working at all these, this is what you should expect: eleven or twelve dollars an hour for pay. Uh, random hours, you might get thirty, you might get way less, depending on how much they get on the trucks or if the trucks come and you should expect more bitching than you would at walmart or other retail places does oh. that all sound correct yes and a lot of the time people i work with now that would come into ollie's and they would see me get lectured like they they knew who i was because they'd be like oh that's the boy they got yelled at all the time <laughs> <laughs> like one of my coworkers was recently talking to me about that yeah we, we would see you get yelled at all the time that manager was a bitch, and I'm like, yeah, she was. So, like, the first hour was just how we did the truck too slow or how we didn't get enough sign-ups or, yeah, like how we weren't fast enough putting up stuff, how we weren't fast enough stickering and how we were, how we talked too much to each other. And, and we would complain that it was too hot in there and she doesn't control the weather and all this stuff. Like, just little things here and there and how she got... <laughs> disrespected whenever she's the one disrespecting everybody and calling everyone a pussy or a bitch or <laughs> a dumbass or so whatever word in the book and she is hr and at one point she like we all went to hooters at one point and well we went there like pretty much every week we went out and i didn't even want to i didn't want to be there i wanted to just go home did they pay for it no i had to pay for it but, but they anyway, made you went go. To, went to Hooters, and she was like, she was jealous. She was like a jealous girlfriend or something. She was like pinching me for looking at the Hooters waitresses and stuff and, and just like bitching all the time. And at one point, like she was in a hurry to get dressed in the car, and she's like undressing herself. And she's like, oh, it's dark. You can't see anything. And I'm like, uh, okay. She's like, just cover your eyes or don't. I don't care. She seemed like she had like almost like a crush on me, and it was weird. How old was she? Uh, I was like, I think like eight years older than me or something. So close to thirty. A little uh, over thirty. O o over thirty. I guess to kind of end this episode up, you know, again we're talking about getting started working at all these. There's a lot of things you brought up that we're gonna touch on in uh, other episodes for <laughs> sure, like the actual setting. I remember you saying you guys had like a mice problem at one oh, point. Oh yeah, should we talk about that? Should we film the other, well, just, the other just, video tonight? Well, yeah, maybe, maybe. So let's say someone still wants to work at all these. What advice would you give them to start working there, to get a job there and be successful? I would say just don't work there. <laughs> I'm, pretty, I'm pretty sure every all these is the same. But I've worked at four or five of them now, like oh. with the same, um, like the same uh, store, the store team. But I've worked at four or five with other teams. And they're they're all horrible. So, so don't start working there. There's plenty of other jobs, even if you don't think there's jobs. There is. Is I there? Feel like, I feel like Dollar General or something would be better, even if you're by yourself. 
I mean, is there any anything to maybe look forward to if you get hired at all these? Or is it just shit all day? There's no hot bitches like I was hoping for. They're just a bunch of ugly people with no souls behind their eyes. <laughs> and they drain your soul as you go. That's about, there's nothing to really look forward to. Maybe that 10% discount, there's some cool books there, some co- comic books and and action figures if you're into that kind of stuff. Some different foods to try, but usually they're like expired. So the clothes there suck. Yeah, I had to move around a bunch of mattresses and big carpets. They have a bunch of, like half their store is mattresses and carpets. Oh. That, yeah, it sucks. And it, it really did some damage on my back. You guys like, you like back pain, right? <laughs> <laughs> you no, like headaches every day and no sleep. Yeah, that's what it is. I'd rather work at a factory. I think to end this up too, you talked about energy drinks you would uh, take to wake up. C4 was one of them. Would you take any other energy drinks? What was that one? Uh, ghost with the, uh, yeah, ghost. It turns you into a ghost <laughs> with the... Uh, <laughs> The Swedish fish one, that one was my favorite. Uh, bang. I was going to say, I believe good. one morning, <laughs> or you, <laughs> I think you told Alex one time that, like, you drank C4 and Bang, like, one morning for a week or something. Yeah, that was mostly at Walmart, though. I would push parts oh, like okay. crazy after drinking those. <laughs> okay, okay. That was, uh... I was so focused. Oh, uh, the Sonic G Fuel, which is really good it's peach ring flavor mm, so good so if someone got hired there you would advise them to load up on energy drinks load up, stock up stock that fridge up i don't care if it's a mini fridge or a normal size fridge stock that baby up that's all you need you don't need anything else i would eat donuts all the time uh-huh. energy drinks and donuts that's the only thing you need i i didn't need anything else just donuts and energy drinks what would happen if you were ever late i get pitched at i mean it was just a slap on the wrist it wasn't anything so were there people then, that were late all the time? Uh, yeah, there was. Dingus was late all the time. <laughs> He'd be like, oh, I had car troubles. We know he's all the time. And he would just fall over. He was overweight. <laughs> he was tall, overweight. He's a giant. But he was, he smelled. And every time we were in the break room, he was reading the same chapter of the same book. He couldn't read. Like, I think he was illiterate. It was some Scholastics Dragon book, like some little kid's book. And he just kept reading that same chapter over and over and over. Interesting. And then his his boyfriend is the one in the beginning. You know how I said the guy that turned away whenever I asked if yep. they were hiring. Yep. That's his boyfriend. He said something like, like they were they were trying to say that I I was like them. Like I, I'm, not, no, this Falconator is a P I M P. I am not like that. <laughs> So I guess any other random advice you would give to someone that just got hired or anything else you think someone about to start working at all these should know? Well, if you can't have energy drinks, drink Mountain Dew, drink a lot of Mountain Dew. And when, when you say Mountain Dew, even... are you talking about the actual soda or pop this time or the other stuff? Wink, wink, the other <laughs> okay. stuff. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Falcons kind of Mountain Dew. All right. If you're out, you're going to be outside a lot more than what you think. Wear like hoodies. Well, you can't wear hoodies. Never mind. You have to wear the stupid uniform. I mean, the, like the red shirt the, we got in the, the photo red, of you here. Yeah, the red shirt I got in the picture. You wear long sleeves under it. I would wear a long sleeve. And you wear a sweatshirt possible. underneath it? Yeah. Probably be like a little gets, tight, but. It gets freezing. Okay. But yeah, most of the time it's either freezing or really hot. It's either, either or. Okay. If it's hot, if it's really hot, you gotta wear shorts. I know last summer was like the worst summer of my life. Swamp ass for days. <laughs> yeah. Um, when yeah, Billy right. when Billy worked there, he had the worst swamp ass. We had to like we had to have like bowls full of uh, baby powder just to give to him, <laughs> and uh, baking soda paste. And yeah, he 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 had bowls for days. So everyone could smell him. Yeah. Well, it smelled like baby powder most of the time. Oh, baby powder and used shit. It. Baby powder and shit, yeah. Did, did customers ever see him in bitch? Oh, yeah. They always complain about Billy. <laughs> That's why he didn't work there as long as you did or part of the reason? He got fired for not wearing shoes and socks. And, <laughs> yeah. and what, refusing to? Yeah. Wow. He doesn't really like to wear shoes or socks. Just barefoot. But, All right. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, what... 
my last word with this though is just be yourself and get bitched at if you really want to work at, <laughs> at all these. <laughs>